if you were Allah, what would you decide for? What would you pick to be the five pillars of Islam? Ooh, great question. Great question. Great question. Um, attaining knowledge, maintaining your health, attaining knowledge, maintaining your health, um, um, kindness for the sake um, for the sake of kindness. I have to think of the other two. So kindness for the sake of kindness, maintaining your health, um, acquiring knowledge, the, um, find not just not not acquiring knowledge, finding the best tools for acquiring knowledge, right? So not just not just packing up knowledge, but also like finding the best, you know, the most effective optimizing. way of optimizing, you know, not, uh, learning basically. Um, you go ahead. I have to think of the other two. I think the fifth one for you should be uh, like the pursuit of pleasure or just enjoying pleasure. No, that's uh, you, okay. Here's the thing when people are asking for pillars, that's the point of everything. It's not like, people don't like the word pleasure, let's say well being, because people, when you say pleasure, people think about just Hedonism. short term. They think they think pleasure means like short term. They just think about sex when we say pleasure, right? They think about sex and drugs and <laughs> no, but they think it just ends at that. You know what I mean? When we say they don't know as a utilitarian, when we when when we're talking about pleasure, we're talking about everything. We're talking about um, the pleasure of enjoying a beautiful sunset, the pleasure of reading a book, the pleasure of being kind to someone the pleasure of receiving kindness from someone the pleasure of being helpful the ple the pleasure of being a contributing part of the society like so but for some reason when we say pleasure people think about did you just get somebody coming in their mind like you're like oh my god you just think orgasm all right that's what they think when you say pleasure that's the only thing they think that's the first thing people think when we say pleasure it's just <laughs> they just uh, somebody with a cum face comes to their mind i guess that's the <laughs> true um so instead of using pleasure maybe if you use the word well-being um then more people will understand what we're talking about but the thing is that it's, it's kind of like a cheating if we just say oh increase well-being right because i mean that's the whole point of everything every single ideology or religion or philosophy they're like oh this is this is how you get maximize well-being okay so when you can't just be like oh one of our p pillars is maximizing well-being because they're asking you for pillars as the pillars for the best method of achieving well-being do you know what i mean mm. they can't just put that in the pillar that the pillars are supposed to be what you build the well-being on top of right Wait, I had a list recently of nine things. I'm just going to refer to my list and pick pick something from there. I don't know. Uh, what I was thinking, I was just thinking of values, not like instructions. I mean, I mean the pillars, five pillars of Islam are instructions. I know, They're, but that's not the first thing that came to my mind for me. Okay. Health, kindness, knowledge i have to think of two more things um you know what three pillars not five this is the three pillars and when i say kindness i'm talking about includes kindness to yourself if i say kindness to yourself and others that will cover everything mm. yeah so be kind to yourself like when you're so in my version of coming up with pillars you cannot be kind. You cannot be like um, become a rather like. It's too much if you like focus on kindness as an as an expense to yourself, right? So the first thing before you before you start becoming kind to other people, you first have to treat yourself. You have to build a foundation where you value yourself to be kind to yourself. So that's the first thing you need to do. Okay, you need to put the mask on yourself before you put the mask on other people, right? Like that's the thing, right? They say, right? Uh, so. When I say value kindness for the sake of kindness, right? That means the highest priority is you. You have to make sure that you maintain some level of mental health and happiness as a foundation 
so that you could build upon it to be helpful to other people okay so that's my first pillar second pillar is um maintain your health that kind of fits with the first one as well um, and also knowledge find find and use the best methods of maintaining knowledge three pillars two of them you don't need five there we go nailed it Arminism um, establish we just establish Arminism. Yeah, when I think of this, I think of values, so it's difficult for me to answer. Try mm. to just answer what I think for that. You could think of it later and come up with it later. We could have a competing religion. I will have Arminism and we have Susieism. And we'll see, like, we could see how many of uh, the people in the live chat will ascribe uh, uh, to Arminism and how many of them to Susieism. We will have competing followers. I think we know who the winner will be. <laughs> um Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.